All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they eagerly call Jesus Christ. Now, <clears throat> when you say history repeats itself, you're talking about the, the Civil War where you had a full fledged hardcore bondage of slavery uh, with the Atlantic slave trade and you had uh, the so-called slaves and their descendants uh, starting to awaken and write books and publications and starting to connect back to their identity and then you had a bunch of rebellions going on and so, in the mix of all of that, you had the Civil War break out around about 1860. And so, at this time, you got these rebellions breaking out, and you got um, uh, the so-called slave master. He is fighting amongst themselves. You got the North and you got the South uh, fighting against each other. Mississippi being the leader of the South because they were the richest uh, state. And they was te teaming up with Alabama, Georgia, uh, and a bunch of other states to fight against the North and pretty much the government. And so this is a perfect example and then after that, after they fought, fought each other in 1865, it came to a climax where they set the um, uh, so-called descendants of slaves to their, uh, they emancipated them, meaning they set them free and gave them to the state or the government. So now the government uh, pretty much had ownership of the people and so um it's kind of like the government confiscated the property and then they even gave reparation uh to the individuals that they confiscated the property from kind of like when they do uh eminent domain and they take your house and give you some money for the house and the property that they took this is what happened in 1865 but this is how this is an example of how it's going to be in World War Three. See, in the great day of God Almighty is going to be with these. Um, the slave master is going to pretty much fight against each, themselves. And so in the slave master is not just uh, one one nation. It's a multi um, national a coalition that's why let's go get that it's a multinational co coalition but at the same time it's being led by one nation let's get the coalition and um psalms 83 I'm going to start at verse, verse 3. It says, they, ha they have taken crafty counsel against your people and, uh, and consulted against your hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay, they have, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. See, Edom is the leader of these other nations. It says in Ishmael and Moab and Hagarines, Gabal, Ammon, the Japanese, uh, and Amalek, the top tribe of the Edomites. And so these are the nations that's existing right now, and they are all teamed up together to come against uh the descendants of slaves and those slaves that was being sold 
and held in, here in Babylon the Great America. So when you look at that, then you get an understanding of how uh, everybody had a part in uh, the slave trade and enslaving these uh, uh, Israelites because it's talking about the children of Israel. And then you had, um, is it Second Chronicles 20? Talking about the, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, what this Armageddon is all about. Okay, where is it? Uh, let's see, is it 20? Because this is another example. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's what it is. Look, let's get um verse 17 first. It says, "Ye shall not need to fight in this battle." You see, they didn't the, the slaves didn't have to fight in the civil war. Even though they fought, they didn't have to fight because them uh, the north and the south was going to kill each other either way. It said, "Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you." O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, for nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Okay, because who was who was coming against the Israelites? It's going to name him here in verse 22. It say, and when they began to sing and to praise the Lord. See, this is what the Israelites is doing now. They're starting to wake up and praise the Lord and um, pretty much obey the Lord it says the Lord set ambush against the children of Ammon the Japanese Moab the Chinese and Mount Seir the nation of Edom which is the so called white man see which were come against Judah and they were smitten so you had these individuals that um the Lord made an ambush against them. See, and this is what the Civil War was all about. See, he he made an ambush against uh, the slave master, but he had he fought against himself. And so, this is what Yahweh was talking about when you're going to uh, Matthew eight, uh, eighteen or sixteen, uh, Matthew twelve, Salakia. Let's see, twelve, around about the twenty-something verse. Yeah, it starts at 25. He said, And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city of or house divided against itself shall not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And you see the kingdom, the United Kingdom of Esau. See, the United Kingdom of the Edomites, along with the other heathen, their kingdom is not going to stand because the Lord is going to set an ambush against them. See, he's going to cause them to fight against themselves, just like he did in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is what Armageddon is all about, in the Valley of Megiddo. He, he set an ambush there. He's going to set another ambush in that same place for these uh, these nations to fight against each other. But the focus really is going to be on Russia and America, the Edomites. See, Satan versus Satan. They're going to be, they gonna be uh, fighting each other, and they're from the same nation. See? And this is the, the example of how World War III is going to happen. See, the kingdom of the Edomites is going his they kingdom is not going to stand their kingdom is going to fall due to them killing each other you see and just like he told the israelites back in the valley of jehoshaphat or when jehoshaphat was the king he said stand still and see your salvation see we gonna be watching these people kill each other and watching their kingdom fall you see let's go to that and um Isaiah 
Is it Isaiah 19 or 13? Isaiah 19. It says, I will set my, said, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. You see, and this, these Americans and uh, these Edomites are the, um, Spiritual Egyptian. That's why. Let's get that. They the spiritual Egyptian. Uh, Revelation eleven and eight. It says, "And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified." So these Edomites is spiritually the Egyptian. And he going to call these people to fight against one another. The Egyptian against Egyptian. Let's get some more. Uh, with second edges. 15. Let's start that with 19. He said, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. See, they're going to be fighting their own brother. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for the great tribulation. See, they're going to be fighting their own brother. Let's get 2nd Edges 6, or 20, 20 something, 24. It says, And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. See, see there was friends uh, when they was um ruling in their kingdom and they're going to turn the enemies. See, the NATO is going to turn on America. NATO and the EU are going to turn on America and join Russia. Let's get that. So they're going to join Russia and they're going to attack America and that's going to be the Edomites fighting against each other. Revelation 16 and 17, it's well, it's like 17 and 16. It's saying the ten horns which you saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. See, they're going to turn on Babylon, the great America, and burn her with fire. Uh, Russia and the NATO and the EU and the Edomites on the other side of the world right along with the other uh, heathens, the East Indians, the Arabs, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Hamites. They all going to turn on Babylon the Great, and they're already doing it with the Brexit. See, they say money is a defense, so there was, they attacking the defense of America. Let's get that in on what Jeremiah 49... 31, it says, Arise, get you unto the wealthy nation that dwell without care, says the Lord, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. So the wealth of America is a defense for America. And so they're attacking them through the BRICS. BRICS standing for uh, Brazil, Russia, uh, East, uh, the Indian, India, East Indians, um, China and South Africa. See, and this this is how they're attacking um, Babylon. And this is how they're attacking the kingdom of Esau. And the Lord is causing all this to happen. See, he's causing Satan to fight against Satan. Satan to ambush himself. For 17 and 17 of Revelation. It says, for God has put it, put in their hearts or their minds to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the word of God shall be fulfilled. You see, so he's causing them to, to put these things in their mind and so they can destroy Babylon the Great and have a major war with World War Three, 
and pretty much ambush themselves. See, they gonna be fighting against themselves, and the Israelites is gonna stand back and watch. Let's see here. Um, see if I can remember this one. Um, and what is this thing? Fourteen. And 14 is it yeah it says the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace see this is how the Lord is going to fight for us we ain't got to pick up no gun and we ain't got to fight no world war 3 see the whole purpose of it is that they going to fight each other and kill each other so the Israelites can see salvation See, the Israelites, the descendants of slaves, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, see, that was scattered around the globe on slave ships during the transatlantic slave trade, the greatest slave trade in history, and, and through many, many captivity, through Babylon, the Assyrian captivity, Greek, the Roman captivity, see, being scattered all over the world. See, these descendants of slaves, who are the Israelites, they are going to cease the salvation, which is Jehovah's shot at the end of the day. He, he's going to be the grand finale of World War III and these other nations uh, destroying themselves. But uh, these other nations are going to shoot nukes over here to Babylon the Great America. And it's going to be uh, the beginning of the takeover of the Israelites who are going to Let's get that in Daniel real quick. I'll end it on this. Daniel 7 and 18. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. See, this is what's going to happen after World War III. And so, um, where is it? Because this is, uh, like 23 says, this fourth kingdom is the 10th king. And Russia and America is going to go head to head, just like in the Civil War. Satan, avert, Satan versus Satan. I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Yahweh, the honor to the elders, pushing the truth, peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.